Come out and don't kill me or her. You can have this hillbilly. Oh. Boy, oh boy, we did it. Lord unknown. Holy shit, we did it. Oh, it's a bit bigger than the last one, huh? It's been a week. The odds that there is something now are non-existent. Just let me check. Ugh, I'm so bored though. Oh, what the hell? How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away uh, where I am to the bank. So, no money then. And I don't get why they want to I check my ID for every freaking thing. Yeah, why do they? Like, damn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel. What do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Boo -hoo. The motel is just fine, too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything yet. <laughs> what? <clears throat> I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey now, we both, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. Uh, true? Let's just get, true. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and seals the damn thing. Oh man, it's good to be back. I've, I've been very excited for what's going to happen. Hello there. Are you looking for something specific? Ah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the F alone? Jesus, you're so rude. And then you got run over by, oh, I'm just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. I really thought that was gonna be one of those nonsensical death where it just kills you out of nowhere for no reason at all. This isn't the room you're staying in. And thank God, a putrid synth lost from a dead body. The vending machine offers all kinds of enticing possibilities to waste your money on. Doesn't really. I like how his sprite just sits on the couch. Not now, I'm trying to catch the news. There isn't going to be anything about us in there, no matter how many times you check. Whatever, did you find the gun yet? Also, pack your things, we have to leave in the morning. The closet is empty except for... Oh, my gun! No, it's not really yours anyway. But whatever, the warden's gun is yours now. Oh, well, he's dead, he ain't gonna miss it. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate bands. Only to then have a panic attack every other night. Ugh. Andrew's been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. Well, he's freaking paranoid. You technically were responsible for the deaths of... Three. Three people. I'd be paranoid as hell too. There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Yeah, no, they're gonna get harvested for their organs like they were trying to do with us. Hey, get your ass out of the way. Ass? I think you... I don't even want to read it. I think you meant my awesome fat tits, you got... Move, you cow. Whatever, wanker. Unless... I cannot watch the news off your fat tits. Would you mind getting out of the way, dear sister of mine? I am not fat. And how could I be for starving after so long? No, you're right, but you're also in the way. I apologize. I'm sorry that you can't understand that I'm trying to watch television. You're so lucky I love you too much to shoot. I, I, I appreciate it. I, I think I appreciate it. And I would appreciate you too if you moved a little to the left. You're supposed to say you love me too. I do now, fuck off. It's gonna be fun. So she picked up like her underwear off the ground. Oh, okay. So I'm just not clicking on things. Just throw them in the washer while I still can. You throw the laundry in the washer. Wow. Riveting. I'm so happy to be here. And do do do. Alright, Andrew. 
All done. You're welcome. Great. Thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean, and I'm a feast on the eyes. Man, she's really into herself. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. Click, click, click. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. Hmm? You know, you promised, like, a day ago to not call him that after he tried to choke you to death. I should have known. Oh, what are you gonna do about it, Andy? You're gonna choke me out again, are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all good and good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you to do. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism shove it right up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Aren't you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm so awful, huh? You see what it's like when I actually misbehave? You might... You might be better off on your own, bro. Just... Just a little, little warning there. I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. Then you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. Those are not two weirdly creepy siblings. A representative of the water company is here to with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes. My deepest condolences to those family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess. Better burn to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease the sadness, we recommend you try Toxic Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavors. E excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you meant to say drink our trusty bubbly poply, which happens to be our sponsor. It doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that's all for now. Tune in again later for wholesome news that cheer up your day. Huh. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was... Was... <laughs> being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the, uh, oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Uh, they must think we died too. And all the evidence of our, uh, escapades. Let's say I've been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it'd all work out. Then... Still just leaves us homeless and uh, just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Huh? No, what the? Can you not with the freaky eyeballs and the someone entering my room? Uh. <clears throat> hey, uh, Andy, do you mind waking up because we're all gonna freaking die? Wake up, we gotta go. Mm, yeah, uh, meh. Get up, I had a vision. We're about to get killed and we got to go now. Uh, grab the underwear. Oh, damn it. Meow. Wait, shit, come on. We like hide under the stairs? Uh. So, uh, wanna stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? What did I do deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyways? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyways. They will. I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. 
and wait and wait Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette another one way to blow money yeah with how much freaking cigarettes cost nowadays Jesus those dudes been blowing their whole bank account off a pack or two blow it out your ass I'm bored and cold you're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation okay mom makes you impotent too by the way it didn't seem like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway, so I don't think it matters. What's stopping you? Who the hell do you think? I said enough. Quiet, you thought we were hiding. Ooh. So... She was right. Oh no, it's a corpsist. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy you were expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyways. Didn't we eat that guy? D don't say that out loud! Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer, and then I make a beautiful dinner for two that you really didn't appreciate? Ashley, come on! <laughs> Seriously, though. I guess there's more where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, a uh, sex and drugs party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But we're also curious about what that cultist look like is up to. Mmm, fine, you go. But come back soon. Ooh, I get to be Andrew now. It is hard not to call him Andy. Sorry, I thought I could, like, wander off. I wonder if there's hidden stuff in this game. That'd be pretty dope. Meow. Oh. 666. Six, six. With eyeballs around it. Run, sucker, run! The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. <laughs> Curse you, brats. Bio waste. Maybe you'll start eating out of here once your money runs out. Mixed waste. They always hide stuff. Recycling point. This seems to double as a smoking area. Cardboard recycling. Apparently approved by the devil if the graffiti on the wall is anything to go by. It's asking. You know, I have this sinking suspicion that it might be. Well. Of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being anything else. I didn't, Andrew. Don't you insult my intelligence? Oh, well, that one's in color. Huh? What? Who let you in here? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? It's a private event. Shoo! Shoo! Is this the demons and sex party? What? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there is no demon sex party, Jethro. Oh, well, just a regular demon summoning then. I mean, that's what I was told, but listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. We got to wear these robes and the grand wizard has to do the summoning of the demons. Right, sorry, I didn't know there's a dress code. I don't know who told you about this today but you can go get rock son all right I'll go no I'm done I can't believe this they're literally inviting anyone these days huh that just means six eyes are getting popular we should be glad it's getting hip with the young folk so I'm guessing our neighbor was part of this guy's little club we're pretty far from home though maybe they gather at multiple locations and these guys actually summon demons though I mean our neighbor managed it eventually but you should decide you should get inside somehow and find out. Well, maybe this door here. Well, that's locked. <laughs> what do I care those clones are up to anyways? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got the employee key. Those are cakes and they look delicious. The top layer is full of cakes. Lower has some paper cups. 
On the cards, there's a plate full of cakes and coffee scissors. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. Oh, Shiza. Uh, uh. The drab has set of drapery you've ever laid your eyes on. Eh. Greens to remember in my casserole. I'll have your head on a plate. Uh, office life. Same shit, different toilet. Well, I guess we have to. We just fucking. Uh, guess I need to bail. Oh, I need to know. <laughs> this is going to take two trips. Grumbling, he goes. The cultist takes one of the cards down the elevator with him. So, remove paper cups from the cart. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart, but now they'd also be seen. What if I take the. <laughs> I'm a genius. You wrap yourself up in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Hmm. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake in his mouth. Oh, dark lord, this is good. He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the ones before it? <laughs> Could it be the weight of my sins? No! Okay. Okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the devil himself, blessed be. Just act normal. Did, did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Six F U. What the hell? Hmm. <clears throat> well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you are all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is so much fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultist keeps calling for Lord Unknown for a while, but it's becoming increasingly clear. He's not going to show up because you guys are a bunch of hacks in the basement. Wow. Look at this amateur hour. I actually summoned something on her first try. No, that's that's probably not a good thing, right? Well, her soul is, is pure black as tar pitch, so... I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only... In spirit. Um, I brought the carts down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, can we have some now? Ugh. Yes, please do enjoy yourselves. Hmm? Where are your rooms? Uh, sorry. The thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. Idiot. And they've got answers. You miss Ashley. Can I have some cakes? Ashley would like cakes. Maybe if I take some cakes, Ashley would like them. <laughs> I'm on stage. It's like I'm famous. Bro, get the... Uh, maybe I can summon something if I just... bibbity bobbity We should have took the damn ritual book with us. 6-F-U, huh? Uh, how do I... Can I leave now, please and thank you? Do I just have to keep talking to people? Wow, someone's underdressed. Well, I'm sorry, it's not real tree. These cheap asses offer milk for their coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. It must be Coors Light. Not that I've ever drank piss, except for that one time in Reno. Well, say something. The uh, converse. Where did you hear about this gathering in the first place? The occult magazine I subscribed to has an ad. Figured it was going to be lame, but I thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I've got to go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it here. Oh, it's a girl? Well, I am. Sh I cannot do that. Okay, then. We just discovered my vocal range. Come on. Yeah, wait, wait of your sins. I have talked to everybody. Can I? Freaking up. That was not clearly marked as an exit. Oh, shit. Hey, didn't we tell you already to beat it? Oh, are they done? How'd the summoning go? Ah, nah. Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe of that get up. Y yeah, you can't come in here dressed like this again. We don't take kindly to you underdressed folk. The whole point is, we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Oh, um, man. Good, good. I'm glad to see the young folks learning some manners. Just don't let this happen again, whippersnapper. Have a good night. Come see me down at the 7 Eleven if you want to. Have a good time. Alright, Ashley, have you, uh... 
At any point? Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. It's, it's rather wholesome. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely not a damn thing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like demon eyes and you hear a car. I mean, we have the, uh, the blap blap. That's him. That's the guy who slid our throats in my dream. Yikes, he just went into our room just like that. You still doubt me? Where'd he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyways. Our stuff's in there. What stuff? We sold most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can live without the trash and the laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money on buying new clothes. I'm not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested, in fact. I'm somehow even less inclined now. You know nothing of my troubles. I don't either, but I'm assuming it's a pain in the ass. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy. There is no random burglar. He's specifically after us for a reason. Like somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's uh, that's not wrong, but uh, why is he still in the room? Why why are we not even in there? Well, boss him. I'd figure out getting food or something, so now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Hmm. Hmm. He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. And he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision again. And you know this how? I know because that's what I do, duh. Plus he's using a knife, so you know, less struggle. Listen Andrew, just trust me. I thought these things through way too much. You question not why she's thought about such things. Now enough daily dealing. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him in somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask. <sighs> We're gonna kill him and eat him. And it's gonna be so much fun. Get in there. Alright, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we have done so far. Play the clip of summoning the demon. So now what's supposed to- Holy shit, we did it! Ah, something's here! Who are you? I can't see shit! You are asking my name, human? Personally, I think shooting fireworks was dumber, but... My opinions. Which I may add, was also your idea. I was 12, you should have stopped me! So should I talk you out of this one, or- No, shut up and follow my lead, and I pretend like you know how to act. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, jolly Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage shielded from sight. Mmm, you're a terrible actress. How's that sound, huh? Terrific. Let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Yes, please and thank you. Well, oh no. I know he's in the damn closet because that's like the only actual place to hide. Got your good bra. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air. And the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Well, that's that's good, I guess. Sorry, I'm having to keep checking the distance. The audio was scuffed, in my opinion, on the last video, and I do not want to do that to y'all again. When I recorded for an hour, and I had just... A hitman's car slash his freaking tires. This is that guy's car, right? Want to break in? And wake every single person on the premises. Why on earth would you want to do that? Huh? I thought you wanted to know if the guy... The last thing we need is an audience. Oh, right. Cars have alarms. Uh, hey, at least I asked before doing it. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Is the park this way? 
Oh, the park is this way. Oh, look at that little bench. And look at that bush. Is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner where we can ambush him. What corner? It's all bushes. I mean, there's like a tree thing over here. Here, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching our shoulders at all times. Or we can get air out that freaking closet. Uh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note, we're also murderers. Not it. You're the one who's all gung-ho about nomming on people. Why give him the gun? You're making me do it again? Dude only has a knife. You got this. I need you to get your hands dirty so I can manipulate it a little more. Ugh, air footsteps, I think. Actually, wait, I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either, not without letting him know that you're, you know, he's here. Crap, did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why'd he stop? Just see what we're up to. But this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. And an idea hits you then. Ooh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. Off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't. I don't know how this thing works. You just take it and point it and click. You are Andrew. Time has come to play hide and sink with the killer. And Ashley. No, no, no. Where, oh, where shall we go? I mean, didn't she just run off like... There's nothing but trash in this bush. People think they're so clever hiding their candy wrappers and beer cans here. I mean, there's a trash can right there. They can always just clear the park up. An attempt, or several, has been made to place trash where it belongs. So close. They were all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Uh, uh, dude, am I, no, I really just, nothing. Not a zilch. Oh! Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute... Shh, you didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you or... Shh, shoo, shoo, leave. There are some bugs in the bush. Not much else. Nothing here. Would it be over here? Holy crap! I feel like, shoot! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Is uh, gonna be him just mag dumping this guy. We're just gonna. Sh we're just gonna. We're just gonna. Pew. We're just gonna. There we go. Is he? Is he dead? I say. Frickin' so. Ashley reclaims her gun. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. Let's get going before someone comes to see what's up. Well, then we can just shoot them too. I would think we'll always be so lucky just to air out every single Himanokar that walks through these woods. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You running out of the blue. What, you need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes? Now that hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun, and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius, that's actually really smart. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Well, he wasn't. Mm. But you're bitching, it all worked out. Clue me in next time you have these genius ideas. So that I can tell you off properly beforehand. And I'm back to Ashley. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us, do we? We're just gonna have a clue who it was. Oh, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. You got car keys. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over that guy. They're just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Were you arrested? Uh, what for? My driver's license. You had to have your fingerprints taken for your driver's license? Well, good thing it's me. Manhandling this corpse, then. You like to manhandle corpses, though. I mean, it's like a short vacation, something therapeutic. Like, hell, you chopped up that dude like you're building Lego sets. 
All right, let's go. Let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. You've already touched the door handle, the handle, the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? I'm also having to touch things with my hands. There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress rewards. In fact, please do not contact us if anyone were to ask. The less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flippers from our sister company, Happy Washing. Or, are we the laundry? It, it seems to be that way. <laughs> Yikes. Take the car and go. Vroom, vroom. So where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us, let alone get gas. Fine, let's go take mom's. For fuck's sake, do you anything? I say, go in. I'm sorry. Does it? I was really getting into it for a second. I messed my lines up. Does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob that bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Hmm. Ah, uh, no. Wait. Why not? We got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. No, I want to go check out that cultist room again now that I think about it. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think that you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two? If anything, it seems that they, that guy took care of us, and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. We'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents? Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. I am way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, then get lost. I'll take it, that's fair enough. It's not like they left us to die or anything. Where do they live now anyways? I know the police, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah? The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Ookie dookie. <laughs> Feet on the floor! My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, 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 it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamn if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some shit. Make me then. Do you, or do you not, want to go rob our parents? I said, make me, Andy. Okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. It's not a joke. Yeah, you get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you, and suddenly it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking with you. Well, then it's not funny, and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. I'm a little stressed out. Well, are you going to drive or one? I just... I just don't want us to get into trouble. But you don't be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumb ass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Ugh. D drive, Andrew. And so he does. Finally, he decided to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for. Exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to notice, you're not talking too much, you fall asleep. 
What the? No, I want to go back. Stop. Ooh, 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 ooh. We can get back in. And... Drew... Andrew. Yes? Why are we here? There's a hitman in our hotel room. I just don't like the idea of walking into a room where someone's waiting to kill us. What do you want to do then? And why are we going to be here? I'm not sure. Let me think about it. Maybe we can sacrifice him to the demon. Maybe we get more power. Go get some coffee. Then make some. It's going to be a long night. Let's not make ourselves at home. God, you're so joyless. Ashley brews you some coffee. You drink in black for you dare not use any of the milk. God knows if it's full of spit or jizz or anything else. Yeah, the summer job left you with some Where did you work? There you go. You're welcome. You have no idea of the hell you've just unleashed. What? Whoever bought this coffee will throw a fit when they find others have used it. And why'd they bring it in? Of course people are going to take some. You're the kind of person who'd eat other people's lunches, huh? I'm the kind of person who eats other people. <laughs> oh, you're terrible. And so is this coffee. Use more grounds next time. Ungrateful and contradictory. You wash the mug and return it to the shelf. My, my. How dare you use someone else's detergent? How very selfish of you, you thieving scumbag. Never once have I claimed to not be a hypocrite. Thanks for the coffee. Wait as it was. You're welcome. I spat in it. <laughs> not really, right? There is no answer. Did, didn't she? The buttons on this won't respond without a swipe tag. Do we care? Well, yeah. I want to see if there's anything unuseful I missed down in the cultist club. Well, I'm almost certain think you want to summon whatever demon they failed to call. I won't deny the possibility may or may not have crossed my mind that I want infinite power. But only the employees have a swipe tag, so I guess there's so much for that. Then let's make a bunch of noise. Huh? A worker would have come to check on her. And then we can mug them and swipe their tag. We make a ruckus, and it's the police that's going to come check on us. Are there even workers here at this hour? Oh, shit, there are. I think here comes our victim. Don't you dare. Let me handle this. <clears throat> huh? Huh? I thought I was the last one here. Hey there. Are you down below? Um, yeah. Who are you? We're from the catering. There was some issue with the amount of cakes. Or, or uh, yeah, that. Yeah, one of them went missing somehow. Well, that's no good. Would you mind if we had to take a look? Um, how yeah, what? The cards are already taken by the catering company. Actually, didn't I see you earlier at the club? Like I said, I'm from the catering. I was here the whole time. Oh, right. Of course. Maybe there was just a mix up with the amount of cakes. Or maybe I ate one. I'm sorry. It's no problem for us to take a look anyway. Come on then. Uh, okay. Right, right this way then. What in the hell are you doing? Shh. See, the cart's already gone. I understand. I only wanted to see if the cake had fallen off somewhere. But I'm starting to think maybe someone stole it. <laughs> but let's not jump to conclusions just yet. It might have simply been misplaced somewhere. Er, er, please do look around, but uh, it's probably a customer that ate it. It's not a big deal. Right? No, it's theft. Well, since we're here, I want to give this a go. Would you be up for it? Nah, I'd hate to summon a demon, sorry. Yeah, I'm up for it, dumbass. What do you think I offered? Jesus, just checking. You're the one who's gonna have to talk to it. Ask it to get rid of the visitor in our room. Why can't you talk to it? For whatever reason, my soul is not tar black like yours. And that made it go really well for you last time. Alright, fine. Hey, friend. Come here for a bit. Yes, did you find the cake? Say, is this blood or paint on the floor? Paint! But when we call our lord unknown, it is traced over with real blood. Oh my, who's? We buy it from the local butcher shop. Well, no wonder if nothing shows up then. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Your summoning with stale blood has been sitting on a shelf for knows how long. I wouldn't show up for that either. I don't you'd show up for any blood at all. I trust Six Eyes Methods. Maybe you two should focus on fixing your catering. I heard if you offer your blood, all your sins will be forgiven. Where does it say that? Not, not that I know of any thieves. 
Lord Unknown said it. Don't tell me you didn't know that much, some devotee. How much blood do you think it is? Enough to draw in this circle should be plenty. Um, just for fun. Maybe I ought to give it a shot. Great idea. Give me your hand for a bit. You cut his finger with your cleaver. There you go. Neat. I'll just draw the circle with this. Then I'll light the candles. And don't forget the music. Get to draw on Jeb. That was probably controlled from somewhere on the wall or something then. Imagine how pleased six eyes will be if we manage to summon Lord Unknown. We might even get invited to his inner circle. That'd be so cool. There, there's cocaine and blackjack. Turn the music on. Turn it on. Our favorite demon summoning hits. Man, this new Kids Bop album is fire. Oh, I'm missing a set of candles. Done. I am sinless. Raise Lucifer. I mean, I mean, the circle is ready, but I, I am sinless too, as I always have been. All right then. <clears throat> come out, come out, wherever you are. That's uh, the wimpiest demon call I've ever heard. Huh? Say, is this even a real demon we're summoning here? Uh, of course it is. We're just not worthy of it showing up. Or maybe you just got lucky last time. Hmm? Or maybe you should fucking try summoning it yourself. All you're doing is sitting there watching. That's right, we should all do our best, even if we're not dressed up properly. Which might be the reason why Lord Unknown won't hear us. What am I supposed to do then? I don't want to end up like our neighbor. You can buy some robes from the summon. It's that simple. Just invite it over. Just don't ask it for something. And just don't ask it something for nothing, and it'll be fine. She has no idea what she's talking about, but she's the one who got it done last time, so what do I know? You know what? Fine. But if it kills me, then that's on you. <laughs> demon, demon, come on out. Um, come on, come on out. Say it like you'd actually want something to show up. Come on out, come on out. Come out, come out. Come out and don't kill me or her. You can have this hillbilly. Oh. Boy, oh boy, we did it. L Lord unknown. Holy shit, we did it. Oh, it's a bit bigger than the last one, huh? Lord unknown, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the cake. Enzi is saying something, but you can't make out the words. Sorry, what? Man, I can't hear it properly, can you? M maybe Lord Unknown doesn't speak human. Failing to establish the means to communicate, the entity grows bored. Lord Unknown's presence begins to fade. Wait, 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 don't go. I've got a favor to ask. Look, you can take that guy's soul. What? <laughs> well, that was interesting. Interesting, you, you said. Yeah, I know what I said, but look, it didn't take your soul anyways. So what? So what? You, you Mitch. What was that? Yeah, you watch your mouth, bitch. There's two of us and one of you. You're both horrible. No wonder Lord Unknown is up and left. Because demons, as we all know, hate horribleness. What is this guy, an idiot? Did you just now figure that out, you idiot? Hey, it takes one to know one, idiot. Everyone's an idiot now. Who's an idiot? You, jackass. Forget this. Let's just get out of here. Good, go. And don't think for a second I won't tell six eyes what happened. Who gives a shit? With that many eyes, you think you'd have seen it coming. But that doesn't make any sense, idiot. Why are you? Lee, come on, we're going. Good riddance. You be damn sure we're never ordering from your catering service ever again. Oh, hey, could you get the elevator for us? Ah! Out with you. Man, what was that guy's problem? Us. Whatever. So we did find something cool. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get y'all back to Nightmare Realm. I just gotta do a lot of running. Oh, well. Well, we didn't make any friends, demon or otherwise. Good. Now you can focus on what's in front of you. Ta-da. It's me. Uh-huh. It'll always be me, like it or not. Listen here, you. We're in a bit of a situation. <laughs> what? Lately, huh? 
you said it back there. I didn't, and then suddenly, and only because I didn't want to use your actual name in front of that giant redneck moron. I'm fine with it, Lee. Fine with Lee? It's a nickname of a nickname. Well, I'm fine with Ashley, so that's what we'll stick with. Boo, whatever. You come around. I'll wait. Oh, anyway, that summoning was a bust. We did get further than the others did earlier. I really think there's something about you. Doesn't matter now. We've got a hitman to deal with. We've tried your whatever that was. Now we're doing things my way. Fair enough. Let's get back to the motel room. Pick up our stuff and we'll see what we see. <sighs> what a waste of time this was. What the... You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time, you feel wide awake. This is actually kind of pretty in a horribly terrifying way. Some red flowers are swinging in the breeze. What was that? Who's there? Who are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. There's nothing to step on. I mean, it's flower petals, so can I just take these? Yep, picked up red flowers. You put down some red flowers, and now I get to walk across. Look at all the little peepers down there. What? You're all muffled, I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. <laughs> Whatever. But where am I going? Can I keep going up? Is that the point? Wait, is this just looping? It is just looping, isn't it? Where am I? Everything looks the same. Oh, wait, there's flowers. Yeah, this is a bit of a pain in the ass. But it's a cool concept, though. I mean, I'm not, like, mad at it. It's just, it is kind of difficult. To get... Oh, yes. Our demon friend. Well, you just avoided, avoided falling down into the eternal void. Lucky! Aw, it's you? I summoned you before, right? Where am I? Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I summoned you to make you. Great, but I can't do this right now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma. The demon couldn't care less about the lover spat you're having with your brother. I don't like when those words are together. It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. Yes. What? Was it useful seeing the future? Uh, yes, the trinket you gave me. It's been very useful. Thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, let's have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I'm able to recharge it, but it's a type C. No! Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it... Ever. Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls at Starbucks. Well, you're not getting mine. So, if that was it, then. Not yours, my soul. Is that like an insult or. Who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I'm going to reach only because of my talents. But even then, one can only interact between realms and deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. 
If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kinda not evil-ish. I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. Does that mean there is a right entity to talk to? Um, we wait. Mm, right. All right. I'll see what I can do. So how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? All right. So where to now, there? I have to escape a day now. I'm assuming you're the way out of here. Or not? Ah, get right, Nern. The door sticker to the eyes. No, no, go back, you. You know what? I'm not going back. Whatever this is, it looks unfinished. I made my mistake. I have to pay. I have to suffer the consequences. Oh boy, another puzzle. Do they have to look at each other? Is that what I'm doing here? Well, how do I... Ah, there we go. Ooh, oogie spooky. Tossle. Well, hello again. This is not bad fear Oh. Up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the team world. This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm, unsummoned, will result in your death. Oh, and so it's fine. It's fine as long as you're summoned. So why not summon me your realm? Why summon me here in this crap land instead? Return home to us, soul. I am expecting your souls. You can't tell me there's another realm in there and not show it to me. Return now. Okay, so maybe somehow I made the right choice. Ah! Where am I now? Oh, this is so tiresome. And I have had it up to here with these stupid flowers. I think they're pretty. I'm gonna get them all. I'm gonna get them all. Get wrecked. Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I am trying. Do something. Help me. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that again. Ugh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something. Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. So, whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient, you know? Hmm. Ugh. So anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley in the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about the cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, boo, no thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. But I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.